Hey guys, welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get the sum of your sales for your current week and the sum of sales for last week. So as you can see here on my screen, I have created two uh, uh, icons over here. So if you click on this icon over here, you will get the sales numbers for your current week right and then when you click on sales last week you will get the sales number for last week right we and we can verify that here by uh, i've just added a table here to verify for the week 37 of 2021 the sales is 3178 okay that, that is when i click over here we see that number and then when i click on last week that is the previous week which is the week 36 the sales numbers are 12037 which is obviously seen here right now I'm going to teach you how uh, this is what we will be achieving today uh, and uh, let us get started. I'm going to teach you from scratch. Uh, this is a new uh, Power BI file that I have just uh, 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 created and uh, I've imported the sample data set that I have over here. For To begin with, you would need a calendar table to uh, achieve what you are trying to achieve, right? Now, I have made a separate video on how to create a calendar table within Power BI and I will link that video in the description of this video. Please watch that. Meanwhile, I have this. I'll, I will quickly show you how it needs to be, what needs to be done. Uh, I have a code here and then I will go to the modeling tab, click on new table. I will paste this code and press enter. Okay, so my a new calendar table here has been created. So as you can see here, I have a bunch of columns that have been created within my calendar table. All right. Once we've created the calendar table, let us go to the model over here and let us join these two tables over here. I'm going to join the calendar table with the order date. Okay, so let us create this relationship and come back. Now let's start creating the DAX. Now let us begin with a uh, a new measure you can click on these three ellipses and click on measure so let us first identify this week sales okay so i'm just call i'm just going to call this as this week sales okay and then is equals to i'm going to go to the next line uh, and then uh, i will uh, uh, define a variable over here i'm going to call this as current week okay is equals to my week number okay my week number this is your current week okay and then i'm going to open the bracket type in today because we're trying to get the week number of this week okay and then i'm going to go to the next line define another variable over here i'm going to call this as current year okay and then I'm going to use the function year and type in today because I need the today's year. Okay. And then I'm going to define another variable. I'm going to call this as max week number is equals to. Okay. I'm going to use a calculate function and then type in max of my week number which is in our calendar column okay and then i'm going to close the bracket comma i'm going to use the filter all and then i'm going to type in my calendar table over here okay i'm going to close the bracket two times okay so my variable is now complete okay now i want this particular dax to return okay we will be using a sumx formula over here and then filter all okay and then our calendar table close the bracket comma if current week okay now we are defining this particular uh, uh, DAX for only one reason. For example, in your data set, let's say if you have, uh, if you've reached, let's say week one, right? And if you want to get the sales uh, numbers for previous week, 
Excel, uh, sorry, the Power BI will not know. If if we say minus one, it will just do one minus one. So that's going to be zero. So we will not be able to go back to the previous year's week, right? So that is why we are saying here, if current week is equals to one, okay, um, then uh, we need to take the week number of my calendar date is equals to max week number that we've defined over here okay okay and then and and the uh, two times you need to type in and and then my year calendar year okay is equals to current year this is the um, variable that we've defined here current year minus one so we're basically telling look at the previous year and the maximum week number right uh, and then uh, we say okay we've got this if it is true okay if it is false then my week num my week number my calendar week number is equals to current week okay and then uh, my calendar year is equals to current year okay i'm going to close the bracket for my if condition and the filter condition and then comma what do i need i need a sum of total sales okay one thing that we missed here is we missed creating another measure here for total sales okay i'm just going to leave this here and just click come here click on new measure over here and call this as total sales is equals to sum of unit cost so here i'm just taking the unit cost column as my total sales value okay so then then let's go back to our formula dax over here okay so sum x the final comma and then we say total sales i'm going to close the bracket and press enter okay okay let's create a, a card now uh, so i'm going to get in the this week's number over here and then i'm going to create a card over here so now i have got my this week sales value okay and uh, let me also create a table here so that you can see that the values are right for example i've got a table over here and this is our this is my week number and uh, total sales so if you can see here week 37 which is the current week which we are in right now the sales value is 3178 if i bring in the date as well to this particular table okay you can see the date which is of the current week okay so basically the addition of these two is 3108 okay so let me just get rid of this okay now we've got this i'm going to go here i'm going to copy this particular formula over here or the dax here okay i'm going to create a new measure oops okay okay and then uh, i'm going to create a new measure and uh, call this as last week sales okay last week sales so here what i will be doing is i will be going to the last section of the form of the dax over here and type in minus one okay and press enter so once i've got this i'm going to just duplicate this particular card over here and then bring in the last week sales and over right over here okay so now we've got the last week sales value as well okay so okay now that we've got the values let us add some just background color to this let's just add blue to this and uh, let's add maybe yellowish to this okay so now we've got the values okay now let's create a button here to sort of uh, when you click a button for this week's sales you need to get this week's sales only when you click on last week like how we saw in the demo that i did right now let's go to the insert tab click on image so i've created uh, a couple of uh, uh, pictures over here i'm going to just import this okay these are the uh, two uh, images that i've created in ppt okay 
and then I'm going to bring in the other one as well. Okay, and now I've got both over here. And now I'm just going to insert a text box on this and then call it uh, sales this week. Okay, let me just bold this and increase this font size a little. Okay, and now I'm just going to drag and drop this over here and I'm going to turn off the background. Okay, sales this week. Just copy paste this uh, over here. Uh, let me just get this over here and sales last week okay and now let us change this color to white and bring this guy over here okay here as well okay now that we've done we've formatted this now i'm going to go to the view tab and click on selection and click on bookmarks i want these two uh, sections to be available here so i have my first card when you click on this card you will see here Okay, I'm going to rename this to this week sales. Okay, and when I click here, this will get highlighted. This is your second card. You can select to last week sales. Okay, so now you have last week sales and your this week sales. Okay, now let us create a bookmark. Okay, and let what we will now do is we will put this on top of this particular visual over here. Okay. Now let us add a bookmark and call this as this week sales add another one call this as last week sales okay and then i'm going to click on this week sales and make sure the last week sales visual is hidden okay you can click on this icon here to hide the visual okay and now I'm going to assign this to this week sales. And you need to click on this three ellipses over here and click on update. Okay. And now I'm going to now select the next or the second bookmark that we created, which is the last week sales. And here I'm going to hide in the this week sales visual. Okay. And then I'm going to go back here, click on update. Okay. Now I will come here to the shape and close the bookmark and selection, open the formatting option go to action and enable action and under type here select bookmark and sales this week okay and then likewise i will come here and select bookmark and select last week sales okay now let us see if it is working right we are on desktop right now so we need to press control and uh, press the button so when you click on this you will see this week sales and then you click on this you will see last week sales right so this is how you achieve getting your last week sales and this week sales in a particular card. I hope this video has helped you. You have learned something new. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.